Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Zach, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is May 8, 2024, and today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the market's really tapering off. And this is after a week and a half of a roller coaster ride, first before the earnings and the FOMC rate decision, and then afterwards the reaction to it. So no major economic events scheduled for today. So looking at the various markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, the major pairs will be stalling at resistance-ish level while we're watching the British pound continue to slide to the downside. Now looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ really unchanged and stall. And as we look at commodities, gold and oil pretty much unchanged as well. Looking at the stocks, they're really mixed with minor changes. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin still holding on to those gains, but tapering lower. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go, first with the Euro USD, you can see pretty much it's at that resistance level stalled and broke down a little bit, not major, but broke down a little bit. So there's a little bit of weakness here. However, looking at the GBP USD, which is really the weaker one, and that has been the standing weaker one, we're back down to that 124 ish level. And that is important because if we break that, we could see it continue to sell off. So we're at support level, Altogether, you can't see it on a daily chart, but you can see it clearer on a four hour chart. Decent trade, okay? A really decent trade because we made that double top and then, you know, kind of sold off. Now, jumping into commodities, not much doing, all right? We're looking at gold really just trading sideways between 2300 ish level, okay? We're 2317 right now, 2330 ish level was that resistance support at 2290 we're right in the middle and not doing much so i don't want to jump into it and neither crude oil tapering just a little bit lower okay this is not considered a sell-off it's just really a little bit lower okay by 50 cents it's not much so with that said we're at the bottom of the range here on the rsi so this may be a point where we just jump off of it so keep in mind all right however we did break that 200 day moving average on a daily and there's a crossover there okay with the eight day moving average which is really important okay because that's generally showing us that it's weaker and that sure enough cleared its way since we cleared that crossover from the 30 day moving average and jumping into the u.s markets here we go really flatlined yesterday 30 points 20 points not much for the dow jones as this is flatlining now this was the point Okay, we had a rally last Friday. We had a rally on Monday. Tuesday, we didn't do much. Okay, a little bit of a sell-off and almost, you know, a couple of stocks were strong. But we're looking into today and we're stalling here. So we've got one or two choices. We're either going up or we're going down. And this is really a very decisive point for the Dow Jones. Now, looking at the NASDAQ, also stalling. Okay, and as we look at the stocks, this is where it gets dis concerning there are some stocks that are on their highs there are some stocks that have sold off and there are some stocks that are the lows okay and that scheme is very disorienting right if they're all on their highs or they're all on the lows i could make a decision but if they're all over the place something's wrong okay so <laughs> let me highlight this all right because if we look at microsoft it sold off yesterday sold off decently to 409 from 413 that's a decent sell-off, okay? However, if we look at Amazon, it's on its eyes, okay? Making that double top. This is really important because if it breaks out, it breaks out, okay? So it's showing some strength there, right? What was the other one? Apple. Apple had a big gap up, but then tapering lower after it opened, okay? we kind of holding or sustaining itself at that 182-ish level, all right? That's also something to consider. Now, looking at Alcoa, also on its highs you can't see it there but on the daily you could see it it's on its highs looking to break out okay now reverting back to a weekly chart if that breaks above that 40-day moving average we're going to explode okay and that's really important for a stock like this however let's take a look at another weaker one right the contrast intel intel was a really strong stock about a half a year ago what happened okay as soon as it went up it came down okay almost looks like a head and shoulder right there and that is a big head and shoulder all right on the 30 day 30 dollar a share for intel going down from 52 that's almost in half all right so that is a huge huge so there's a lot of discrepancy in the market right now okay there's a lot of things that you got to just pick out and look at them looking at bitcoin 
Bitcoin tapering off here after clearing that 63,000. However, remember, it's Bitcoin, so it could just easily as well just go higher. However, it does look like it's making itself a downwards trend line. Okay, if we look at that like that, there you go, there it is. And I would use that 30-day moving average as my resistance, so keep that in mind. If that breaks further down or breaks that 8-day moving average, may see a correction on the downside. This is Fed Rezac. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.